In the Paper Conservation Lab, conservators assess and treat a variety of works on paper, which are known for being delicate and vulnerable. Paper conservator Kate Maynor handles each artwork with patience and care. Even though we have a great deal of experience in performing treatments, our experience has taught us to expect the unexpected because each work of art is unique. Before we treat a work of art, we thoroughly examine it and document it both in written reports and also in, in photographs. We examine it visually using different kinds of light and we conduct tests that simulate different aspects of treatment on a small scale. This gives us a, a feel, literally, for the work of art and how it will behave in the course of treatment. This print was published in 1873 by Courier and Ives, and it has a number of common condition problems that we find in works on paper, mainly due to poor handling or poor storage. The print's appearance is compromised by surface grime, staining, and distortions. Several breaks and poorly mended tears weaken the paper's edges. Careful surface cleaning is the first step in treatment. To remove the old tear repair, the cloth tape is thinned down using a scalpel. Then a water-based gel is applied to gently soften the adhesive so that the remaining tape can be removed bit by bit. To properly mend tears, conservators choose stable, reversible materials. Long-fibered Japanese paper, delicate yet strong, covers the tear's edges. The paper is adhered with a purified wheat starch paste. Repairing a damage that is very disfiguring is an obvious source of pleasure, but just performing a part of a treatment that I know will make the work of art last longer, that's equally satisfying for me. After treating each of the condition problems, the print is now stronger and more resistant to future damage. Stains and distortions no longer detract from the beauty of the print, so that future generations can enjoy the subtleties of light, color, and line. With proper care, works on paper can last for centuries.